the lack of good Wi-Fi speed can be source of a huge frustration. No matter what, if you try to do some work online, or you are trying to play online games, which is maybe even worse. The thing is that the internet speed doesn't depend only on the provider and how much megabytes of downloading or uploading you have, but also on the strength of the signal. You have definitely noticed this Wi-Fi icon, right? Well, sometimes it has full signal, sometimes it has only two lines, or maybe just one line. It has nothing to do with the speed. Maybe this one with just one line is much faster internet than the other one which is at full. This is just showing how reliable and how strong is the signal. And in this video, I want to show you where to check the strength of the signal, what is considered as a reliable speed and a reliable connection, and also how you can improve it. So let's jump right into it. On the Mac, checking the Wi-Fi signal strength is a one-click operation. All you need to do is to simply press and hold the Option key and click on the Wi-Fi icon in the menu bar at the top. If you don't have the icon here, you can perform the same from the control center. Or simply drag the icon into the menu bar. Now when you open it with the Option click, you will get this extended menu with a lot of information. What are you actually looking for is the RSSI value. That's the Wi-Fi signal strength. Wi-Fi signal strength refers to the reliability of your Wi-Fi network connection, rather than the speed itself. And funny thing here is that the lower the number is, the better for you. So what is considered as a good signal? Well, a perfect signal is below 30 dBm. Wi-Fi signal strength is measured in decibels per milliwatt. That's the dBm shortcut. Most likely you will not have such a signal, but anything between minus 30 to minus 60 is considered as a very good signal. I would say that excellent signal is around minus 50. The border of reliability is set to minus 67. So if you are seeing bigger number here than 67, you should definitely try to do something with the signal strength of your Wi-Fi. There are many things which are influencing that. Well, they are quite obvious. One of them is the distance to the router. The other one are some physical obstacles. It can be walls or it can be furniture on the way. The other one, of course, is the load on the Wi-Fi, the load on the router. How many people and how many devices are connected at the same time. These things you can influence. But what you can't influence is the fact that other Wi-Fi is also slowing your. So if you live in the city, there is very high chance that there are many other surrounding Wi-Fi's which are influencing your downloading and uploading speed as well. So all of these things in the combination can determine the strength of your Wi-Fi signal. But what we can do about it? I know that you can't always remove all of these obstacles from the way. You can't sometimes move the router. You can't change the walls. But there are things we can definitely do. One of them is to place your router away from other sources of radio frequency. That includes other wireless transmitters. It can be Bluetooth devices or even microwaves. Even the small baby monitor can influence your Wi-Fi strength. So try to find a place that provides an even coverage of your entire room, but further from these devices. If you understand your router settings well or you have someone who is doing that for you, you can also check the traffic on your Wi-Fi channel. It might sound complicated, but it's nothing hard on that. Imagine the thing that you are stuck on the traffic while driving. Well, naturally, you don't want to be in the line which is full. You want to switch to the empty line to pass all of these cars. And that's exactly how it works with the Wi-Fi as well. So you can check the traffic on your channel and you can try to switch to a more suitable one, more empty one. If you can't move the router, which was my first recommendation, you can set it up with a Wi-Fi range extender. With this device, it can help you overcome some obstacles to eliminate an annoying signal dead zones. It can help you overcome obstacles on the way, but you still have to place the extender well within the range of your router so it has a good signal which can retransmit further. 
more advanced is to create a mesh network. A mesh network consists of multiple Wi-Fi routers, which are working together to cover a large area, but they are all working in the single network. It's a bit expensive to do, but that will surely provide fantastic Wi-Fi signal strength and also connection stability anywhere at your home or at your office. And at last but not least, is to update or fully replace your router. You might be surprised just how much Wi-Fi routers have evolved in the last few years. Sometimes the improvements come through the software updates, but that's not very likely to happen. So I would recommend to change the router at least once in two years if your budget allows that. Now you know how to check and increase your Wi-Fi signal strength. But do you know that you can also check your overall internet speed? What is your downloading speed or upload? It's very simple to do it on the Mac and you can do it with one click. You just need to create a simple shortcut script. I made another video about it. You should already see it on the screen in the recommended videos. So I recommend you to watch it. Thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end and I will see you in another video.